Hi guys, today I'll go over three different approaches that we can use to obtain tweets from the Twitter API. Today's video is actually a two part. In the first part, we'll see how we can get the tweets that are sent out from a specific Twitter account. And we'll also check out a way to get the tweets related to some keywords or hashtags. The second part is about getting real time tweets. And I'll show how to do that using the stream feature. So let's get started. To be able to follow this tutorial, you need to have a Twitter developer account with an elevated access and also obtain your API keys from over there. In case you don't have such an account, you can see my video on this topic. I'll put the link down in the description. As you see, I already copied some codes from the first video. So you see, I have a config file that I put my API keys over here and I read this file into my main Python codes with using the config.read method and then I call all of the keys over here. Then I, uh, I make an authentication handler instant by passing my API key and API key secret. And I set my access tokens. And in the end, I make an API instant. The first approach I want to cover is obtaining tweets from a specific user account. So we want to read user tweets. What we do first, we specify which user we want to read the tweets from. I consider Veritasium. And let's say we want to obtain 100 tweets from this user, the last 100 tweets. Then we can read the tweets by using the API user timeline method. And over here we pass screen name equal to user. So we pass which user we want to read the tweets from and we set the count parameter equal to limit. So this way we can read a hundred tweets. We also set tweet mode equal to extended. In case we don't set the Twitter mode equal to extended, what happens is that the API will truncate the tweets and we'll only get 140 characters from each tweet. Now this way we receive the last 100 tweets from this user account and we can print the tweets by writing for tweet in tweet print tweet.full text. Now by running the code we can print the tweets. Okay, to better see what is happening over here, what I'll do, I'll make a data frame and print that over here. So first, I give the column names, which is user and tweet. Then I set the data as a list. Then for each tweet, I append to my list tweet.user.screen name as well as tweet.full text. Then I make a data frame by passing data and setting the columns equal to columns. And now if we print the data frame, we see we got a hundred tweets as we wanted. But there is a problem because if we increase the number of limits from 100 to, for example, 300, and we again run the code, you see we will only get 200 tweets. So the problem is that the API only returns at maximum 200 tweets per request. To solve this problem, we can use the tweetpy.cursor class. So we pass over here the method that we want to run which is our user timeline method, and also pass all the keywords over here. So instead of count equal to limit, I put it to the maximum number that we can have, which is 200. And then we set items and pass to over here the limit number. Now I save the results into the tweets variable and comment the previous code. So this way we can solve the problem. And if we run the code, 
we should get 300 tweets right so that's how we can obtain the tweets that are sent out by a specific user now that we know how to obtain tweets that are sent out by a specific user, we see how we can also get the tweets that are related to some keywords or hashtags. To do so, I will just copy the codes that we have so far. So first I'll copy these codes, then I comment them. So what we want to do, we want to search tweets. Instead of a user, now we need to set the keywords that we want to search for. So over here, for example, I just consider 2022. And again, the limit equal to 300. So this time, instead of using the user timeline method, I'll use search tweets. And then instead of passing user over here, we need to pass the keywords. So I set Q equal to keywords. And then for this method, the maximum number of tweets that we can get by each request is 100 instead of 200. Then the rest is just the same. Now, if we run this code, we should get 300 tweets related to 2022. So you see over here, we have the 300 tweets that we wanted. So all from different users and the, all of the tweets contain the keyword that we set. We can actually use this code to also search for hashtags or even a specific user that you want. So for hashtag, you can just set a hashtag over here or for a user, for a specific user, you can just set the username over here. And if we run this, again, we get the tweets related to this user. And that's how we can obtain tweets related to some keywords. In the next video, we'll see how we can use the stream feature to obtain real-time tweets. Hope to see you there.